the words that we are going to discuss today are shock doctrine are anarcho capitalism and minarchy minarchy these are the three words we are going to discuss today very new concepts but uh, why are we discussing this today it is because recently the south american argentina elections the election of a person by name javier milay he'll take charge on december 10th argentina replacing mr fernandes so this guy this particular person is referred to as el loco now el means he it's a it's a word that is used before a masculine noun so and loco fundamentally means someone who's crazy so this person is fundamentally called the madman of argentina and this guy is actually an economist therefore the words now before we go ahead we have to understand this word called shock doctrine what do you mean by the shock doctrine shock is something which is most unexpected so fundamentally in economics shock theory means or shock doctrine shock therapy all these fundamentally means a sudden change in the national regime with respect to economics it's a shocker to the public for example if there is a situation where a country is running based out of socialist as well as communist level kind of economy and suddenly there is a shift towards extreme right that is extreme capitalism so that's a shocker to the public to accept that kind of economic theory and economic dynamics so therefore that is called shock doctrine this guy is known to be a guy who is supporting the far right so what is this far right far left what is this fundamentally the whole economic zones the social economic and political zones are divided into three major categories one is left right and the center so if in terms of economies let's talk in terms of economies the left side is fundamentally people for poor plus middle class and their upliftment so it is more based on communist plus socialist so they they want the government to take care of everything they want major stake to be held by the government to take care of the people so the people's welfare is fundamentally based out of the government that is called the left side the right side exclusively fundamentally means individual plus capitalist so the fundamentally the right is all about people where they don't want government control everything should be taken care by the individual as well as capitalists and private players exclusively in terms of politics this major right should be with respect to the people far right will be those people who are always sticking themselves towards the most powerful most authoritarian kind of regimes and the center is fundamentally people belonging to the middle income group so they need a little bit of this they need a little bit of this so that's the center so again in center there is center left and center right more inclination towards the left they are called center left more inclination towards the right they are called center right like that there are different concepts so this guy is fundamentally a far right guy that means his regimes are extreme so he wants extreme free market 
that means in argentina he wants to bring a complete regime because argentina fundamentally is more towards it's more towards the center it, it is more towards the left for a lot period of time now they have it has moved a little bit towards center left people are very happy government is taking care but the whole problem is the value of the argentinian currency that is the spanish currency peso has gone down by 90% the currency value has gone down by 90% that means if if it was 100 before now it is only 10 rupees the value has fallen down with this destruction in currency what is happening is they are slowly getting into poverty side so to avoid that this man said there should be a complete change and he is ready to even change the peso the currency of peso into us dollar itself so because is going to bring a rapid and a very shocker kind of change into the economic system that kind of system is that kind of that theory is called shock doctrine so a complete renewal from an old to a new regime where people will take a lot of time to accept something that's called a shock doctrine so fundamentally this is the point so just a small this one so it centers on the exploitation of national crisis disaster and upheavals to establish controversial and questionable policies while citizens are too distracted emotionally and physically to engage and develop an adequate response and resist effectively so actually this shock doctrine can lead to something called disaster capitalism where everything comes into the hands of very few people and uh, it might it might not be very good for the common public therefore it is considered to be disaster capitalism it can also lead to market fundamentalism please remember this word fundamentalism fundamentally means a strong belief in a particular idea the idea may be religious the idea may be economics the idea may be anything but a very strong belief and you strongly believe that is definitely going to happen and that is the future when you believe in such a kind of thing that is called fundamental attitude we have seen religious fundamentalism so this is economic fundamentalism so the people who strongly believe that only market should decide what the public should do no other government no other no police no government no nothing no state fundamentally that is called market fundamentalism they strong those people who believe this concept are called extreme right far right people so mr uh, mr javier is mr javier is one person like that so market fundamentalist right now similar to this there is another word called anarcho capitalism as i said before the concept of anarcho capitalism is no state intervention completely controlled by the market the market should decide what the public must do the market should decide what are the goods which have to be available the market must decide what the customers require the market should decide the quarrels between two people the market should decide what is required for the public for example if there is an insurance thing for example i'll give you a small example on how anarcho capitalism looks like it's like this for example uh, you have an insurance one an insurance two you have you have taken insurance from there are two people who have taken insurance from a single company let's say now let's say these two people the fellow who sold the insurance and the fellow who bought the insurance and they to have a little bit of quarrel the company will come and solve their dispute so it's a problem between the company and the public so the company will come so no state government will come in between the insurance company will take care of the settlement between these two people because the problem is with them the company will deal the problem is with the company the company is going to come and deal that so here there is no government no state no court nothing the company decides it so the market decides what should be the resolution for this similarly let's take another example where a, uh, there are two persons who have taken an insurance and there is another company just taken insurance from this now let's say these two people have a problem so what they do is the problem of these two people will be dealt by the companies themselves these two companies will sit about what kind of resolution can be brought and usually the resolutions and the final conclusions will be only in terms of monetary forms 
there will not be any punishments and all these things so fundamentally it comes under the law of torts tort law where the punishments are not severe and uh, whatever resolutions are there it has to be in terms of small monetary terms and get the decision solved so the issue is there are no particular laws in all these things the companies will decide what has to be done and that is more favorable to the customer is what people of this sort think therefore such kind of capitalism where no state no government no police everything everything will be private police private government private capitalist private schools private resolution bodies private everything is private and based on what the customers require the market will start arranging itself such kind of extreme capitalism is called anarcho capitalism just like the anarchists so that is what happens so see private agencies and non aggression principle free market and self ownership and uh, <clears throat> it is all completely laissez faire it's all free market zones that's called anarcho capitalism moving on you have another word a uh, one example for this is it is not some new concept as i told you medieval iceland government had no executive no criminal law no bureaucracy and its system was chieftainships was based on markets so what we think of as criminal laws against crimes against assault murder or theft were resolved through tort based civil law so as a result there were few victimless crimes and all the penalties were monetary so this is a kind of uh, system which already existed so that's so that's the reason i told you it's not something new it's been there and the last word for today minarchy it's not monarchy it is minarchy am i very important so a society where the government provides nothing except so very few functions of the government major work is done by the market itself so what kind of work that government does police so that they can protect you from criminals army so they can protect you from foreign invaders and courts to protect your property and contracts from breaching that is a whole point so their function is only these three the police the army as well as the courts and that too for very very normal things police for criminals army to make sure that your boundaries are safe and courts if a contract is breached what kind of work can be done this is the only thing so please remember this statement rational self interest plus free competition plus reputation normally equals excellent results for both consumers as well as producers this is the fundamental clause of minarchy so very very little role of the government and maximum role for the market as well as the private players such kind of system is called a minarchy system so why are we discussing the, all these things is because nothing much for india per se but there is a small problem if you observe let's say this guy comes and there is a change in argentine politics the south american country now the whole point is here we have africa and south africa already this is a block now since we the reason you said that argentina egypt and all these guy, about seven countries have been invited into the organization called brics i'm sure all of you know what is brics so brazil russia india china as well as south africa now india is here therefore we are there is already a group called menocosur that is actually a big business group but the problem here is most of these countries base is all communist and socialist but of course a lot of uh, uh, capitalist things also go on but not to the extreme things now if you observe even in the south american countries some countries like uruguay paraguay paraguay all these countries were who were left who were left is before slowly moved towards the right side so the economic systems have changed from left towards the right so their tendencies have moved towards more capitalist zones all the decisions taken by this is based on the kind of nature of government just been previously now if these people slowly start moving that side their policies will change and if these policies will change there will be a lot of effect to this organization and the power and the rule so since india is a part of brics the problem here is if this tendency starts changing it's more beneficial to the us and other european countries but not for us so only if there is a huge effect of the change of moving towards anarcho capitalism or 
the effect of shock doctrine on anarcho capitalism or miniarchy any of this in future if there is a huge effect in these regions then there will be a huge effect on the brics organization directly and indirectly it might affect indian policies with respect to these nations i think that is the only effect which can happen and i don't see any uh, new effect which is going to happen very soon it might take some time but uh, that is it so that's all for today